I think that music is the closest thing to magic that we have. I have hundreds of recordings on my phone of me just singing my feelings into my voice memos, but I very rarely will go back and turn them into an actual song. So I'm trying to get better at that, and this process has been really good for that because I've been able to kind of recraft my old songs and go through old selves, you know, that come out in the different songs and um, different times of my life. You know, I've been, I've been playing music since forever. My grandma on my mom's side was a, a Seattle darling. You know, she was a singer in the 50s. She was, she sang in the Seattle World's Fair. She sang with Overton Berry. She played at the Cloud Room. She was on a TV show and she had a couple recordings out on Billboard. But she lost her voice from nodes. So I always kind of felt like it was my responsibility to kind of live on for her. Um, and so I'm gonna be taking maybe one or two of her songs and turning them into something modern for the record. My dad is a, is a piano man. He taught me piano from when I was really little. So I, I just feel like I was born to be a musician and I don't, there was never really any choice. <laughs> yeah, music runs in the family, definitely. But I do want to make a name for myself that's just completely unique. And I've always loved jazz. I really like the idea of kind of specializing in jazz. It's such a beautiful type of music. You know, it's so reliant on improvisation, collaboration. It's just always growing. And so I feel like I can make a space for myself there. There's always something new that you can do with it, but also with vocalese specifically. And I think with vocalists, each generation there's a new vocalist who kind of takes that and says, oh, that's mine. Like there's so many vocalists who just have a way with words, but they still maintain the beauty of the original work by honoring the jazz instrumental solo that came before them. I feel like that's personally where I could make a space for myself. I want to, I want to say what I have to say um, and have people remember me for it. I think there's going to be so many different parts of me and different selves that are going to come out in this that I think that's kind of the theme. I think it's just gonna be really vulnerable. I'm ready to be vulnerable. I'm ready to not hide that anymore. I've had so many friendships and relationships where I've tried to change myself or hide myself or make it more comfortable for the other person. So I just wanna be me. I'm just really excited to make it a collaboration. Something that says, something that says something about who I am.